Well, welcome back to Houston Life. This spring, she made Houston so proud with her stellar run on Bravo's Top Chef Season 19, where she showcased her skills and passion for Asian food. And now Evelyn Garcia joins us once again in our kitchen to show us how easy it is to bring those vibrant flavors into our <laughs> kitchens. Evelyn Garcia, chef and co-owner of Kin HTX. It's so nice to see you. Thank you. I love being here. We're Thank huge so fans of yours. I mean, <laughs> it's been great that you always make time for us here at Houston Life. And I know we're not alone when we say we absolutely fell in love with you uh, during Top Chef. So you must be Thanks. very proud. <laughs> Thank you. I was like, survive, girl. Survive. Yeah. Well, you did. <laughs> you did. And, and you know what? It's all about about skills and understanding uh, the, the ingredients and the food and the passion. Um, so it's so great. We were cheering you on every season. And as Derek said during our commercial break, the last time Evelyn you were here was right before the finale, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm a lot more relaxed now. Well, okay. you never slow down. We saw you at the James Beard uh, food event a while back. I know you always have so something, go something going on. Let's talk about what you're making today because this is something that is super simple. Yeah, so I wanted to do a recipe, especially with going back to school and starting yeah. to think about all the pre-planned meals and whatnot. Um, something that you can really put together with um, a little bit, one, leftovers. You can swap it out for different proteins as well as something kind of light and you make you can make it as heavy as you like. Um, it's definitely just a very fresh chicken salad. Um, just kind of like a really cool Vietnamese twist to it. Right, and really focusing on the Vietnamese inspired uh, spices, which you really love to yes. use in your in your cooking. I love those um, and I think you're gonna start with uh, the so dressing? With the dressing. Yeah, tell me what to do, yeah, when so I'm ready. We have um, some coconut milk, some yogurt. Oh. Um, so you can just pour those in, they're already measured for Okay, it. Yeah. and what kind of yogurt is this? Uh, so that's Greek yogurt. Just, okay. Mm -hmm. And just plain, just I'm guessing. Plain, yeah. or you could do honey too. Okay. Okay. Oh, that would be good, yeah. Yeah, and then we actually have some honey as well. Okay, and the whole thing? The whole Thing. Okay, there's well, probably about a couple tablespoons in mm -hmm. there, it looks. Okay. And then we have a little bit of fish sauce, which oh. you can easily swap out for some soy sauce if you have. Okay. So from fresh lime juice. Fresh lime, okay. And um, then we're and just gonna, gonna whisk it up. Whisk it up, okay. Yeah. And is it just until mixed or am I trying to no, go? No, just do mixed. Yes, okay. just do mixed. It's nothing um, fancy. And that just like, that mixture of like the yogurt and the coconut milk, just a very light version of chicken salad. And then, you know, how we just used to like mayo and whatnot. Right, right. You're not just using a lot lighter. all that. Yeah. Yeah. Just okay, so lighter. it has a nice creamy texture there. Yeah, but you're still getting that mouthfeel um, okay. that you want in chicken salad. Um, so then to the bowl, we're going to add the roasted chicken. Okay. Again, I'm trying to go, I, this is the salad that I make at home all the you time. You do this all the no, time. Yeah. So I when you like say make roasted up this chicken, you're talking like a rotisserie or whatever you have left over, yeah. right? Or like poached chicken. Okay. Um, you can also do uh, seafood if you have any shrimp or whatnot. You can easily swap it out. Oh, yeah. We have some red onion. Okay. We have some jalapeno because I like it spicy. using all of it? You can use as, as much as your your little heart desires. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and a little then, tomatoes. All the fresh Yeah, and then like any like, fresh veggies you got at home, some cucumbers. Yeah, I mean, this could really be red pepper, green pepper. It could be yeah. anything that you have uh, left cuddles, over. scallions. It's okay. nice that you can add more or less of, of what you like and uh, yeah. the spice level, the jalapenos exactly. as well. And you're throwing in mint and dill here too? Yeah. So some fresh herbs, obviously very um, indicative of Vietnamese food. Right. You know, all the fresh herbs. You know, if you if you're feeling fancy, you can throw in some Thai basil in there. Okay. Um, Cilantro, oh, really anything. Beautiful colors. Dill yeah. is actually super easy to grow at home too. It, it yeah. looks so mint delicate. Is a weed, and mint will take over your whole take over, <laughs> container yeah. too. You can pour in the dressing on there. Okay. I'm gonna dump that in right there. Perfect. Yeah, so the dressing itself, obviously we're going for like a lighter version of that like creamy uh, oh, dressing. Delicious, yeah. But mm -hmm. the fish sauce really adding some umami that's just like that kind of briny flavor on the back. The honey had some acidity, you know, some sweetness and then acidity from the lime. Um, so you're just getting all those like nice feel textures. Right. Um, in a super light version of the salad. Okay. Okay, time to put it all together, huh? Yeah, and then we have some um, you can put it on anything. Okay. You, know? you can just have it like this with crackers. Uh, you can put it on a wrap. I have some tostada that are dusted in a little bit of chili and lime. Okay. Um, you also have like lettuce wraps if you want to do a lettuce wrap. And while Courtney is putting this together, Evelyn, uh, let's tell our viewers about an event, Homegrown Houston. And this yeah. is essentially a tasting tour with several chefs, yourself included. Yes. Just the two of you, right? Um, so you, you and Henry Liu? Me and Henry are kind of the ones that like just brought in all our friends. Okay. Right? But it's um, about 10 chefs and restaurants. And it's really just showcasing Houston's food scene. 
you know, we, you hear it all the time, we're super multicultural and the food is delicious, but it's all because we're just surrounded and inspired by all these cultures and everything we grow here in Houston. So we're really trying to showcase how that really changes our food as chefs. Um, so like my food unit is very Southeast Asian, Latin uh, mix there, and we have some chefs that are cooking some Mexican food, um, Nigerian food, Filipino, Thai. So it's really cool to just see that mixture and like, taste those flavors that only happen in Houston because of oh, all our well awesome people. Yeah. Thanks for cooking for us today, Evelyn. Oh, we do no, appreciate thank it. Thank you. I'm and, super excited for And that. the event, once again, is August 27th yes. from 7 to 10 p.m., so buy your tickets and go hungry. Yeah, That's everything will be on our advice right there. Asia Society <laughs> Texas Center. And if you'd like to see the complete recipe, you can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. There you will also find a link for tickets and more info about Evelyn and Henry's event. Very nice. Evelyn, thanks so much. Oh, thank you. I'm super excited.